Optimus V3 is expected to work in close contact with humans, from homes to hospitals. In healthcare, 70% of hospital-acquired infections are linked to poor equipment hygiene, proving that cleanliness is a critical challenge. Unlike older machines, V3 must combine performance with safety. What features make this possible and why is hygiene so critical? And how could robots transform caregiving? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How can Optimus V3 clean and maintain itself externally without human intervention? When discussing Optimus V3 and the question of how a humanoid robot would clean itself, the first step is to understand the scale of the challenge. Unlike a smartphone or a vacuum cleaner, a humanoid robot has over 200 moving joints, sensors, cameras, and an outer shell made from aerospace-grade materials. These surfaces will inevitably accumulate dust, fingerprints, oil, and microscopic particles during daily operation. The issue is not just cosmetic. Studies on robot maintenance show that dust on optical sensors can reduce accuracy by up to 30%, while particle buildup in actuators can shorten component lifespan by nearly 20%. For a robot designed to operate 24 hours a day in factories, hospitals, or homes, this risk is too costly to ignore. Therefore, the idea of self-cleaning is not a luxury, but a necessity to maintain both performance and longevity. Tesla's design philosophy offers a strong starting point to envision how Optimus V3 might address this challenge. The company has already applied hydrophobic coatings and nanostructured paints to its vehicles. Tesla's Model S with a ceramic coating reduces dirt adhesion by nearly 40% compared to untreated surfaces. Applying this approach to robots, one could imagine Optimus's shell using advanced nano coatings that repel dust, oil, and even water, allowing the robot to stay clean with minimal external assistance. By using aerospace-grade alloys and polymers with integrated nanostructures, Tesla could essentially give Optimus passive self-cleaning capabilities. Each time the robot moves, friction across its body could dislodge microscopic particles, helping it maintain a naturally clean appearance. However, passive solutions alone are not enough. Optimus V3 will likely need active cleaning systems built into its design. One feasible method is micro-vibration cleaning. Similar to how smartphones use small haptic motors to create vibrations, the robot could trigger controlled vibrations on its outer shell to shake off accumulated dust. Research from the ACT lab at SUSTEC in Shenzhen shows that vibration-based cleaning can remove up to 85% of surface dust with minimal energy consumption. Optimus could automatically activate this feature at set intervals or whenever its cameras detect reduced transparency. Combined with reflective sensors, the robot could know when it is dirty and trigger a self-cleaning mode, reducing reliance on human intervention. Another intriguing approach comes from nature, particularly how animals groom themselves. Tesla could integrate retractable microfiber pads hidden within Optimus's arms or torso. When activated, these pads would extend and gently wipe critical areas like camera lenses, sensors, or hand surfaces. This concept is similar to windshield wipers, but on a smaller, more precise scale. Such a system would allow Optimus to automatically clean its most sensitive components, ensuring uninterrupted function. For instance, if a dust particle covers its vision sensor, which Tesla claims processes billions of frames per day, the robot wouldn't need human intervention. It could clean its eyes within seconds and continue working. Moisture and liquids present another challenge. A humanoid robot must avoid water damage while still operating in environments where spills or rain are possible. Tesla could employ self-sealing coatings and compartmentalized designs to ensure cleaning fluids or condensation cannot penetrate critical electronics. Furthermore, Optimus could use built-in warm air nozzles to blow moisture off its surfaces. This would work similarly to public restroom hand dryers, but miniaturized and embedded into the robot's joints or body. Considering that 70% of hospital-acquired infections are linked to poor cleaning of tools and machines, such a feature would be vital if Optimus is deployed in healthcare environments. The greatest technical challenge lies in cleaning joints and moving parts. Unlike smooth surfaces, joints accumulate dirt much faster due to constant friction. Industrial robots typically require manual cleaning every 48 to 72 hours to maintain precision. Tesla could address this by using carbon-based composite materials with dust-resistant properties and lubricants that prevent the buildup. Additionally, Optimus could be programmed to occasionally perform self-exercise routines. These movements, executed in specific patterns, would dislodge accumulated debris from its joints. Combined with airflow channels, 
integrated into the robot's frame, particles could be expelled naturally without manual cleaning. If Tesla achieves this, it could reduce maintenance costs by up to 60% compared to traditional industrial robots. One might ask why Tesla would invest so heavily in self-cleaning features when humans could simply wipe down the robot. The answer lies in scale. Elon Musk has repeatedly stated that Tesla plans to produce millions of Optimus units in the long term. Even on a smaller scale, if Tesla produces 10,000 robots annually in the U.S. alone and each robot requires just 15 minutes of manual cleaning per day, that would add up to 2.5 million human labor hours per year. At an average labor cost of $25 per hour, that equals over $60 million in wasted annual expenses. By equipping Optimus with self-maintenance, Tesla ensures each unit remains efficient, durable, and low maintenance. This is particularly critical in industrial environments like warehouses or hospitals, where continuous uptime is required. Self-cleaning features also enhance hygiene, which becomes essential if Optimus is deployed in healthcare or household settings. Imagine a robot assisting in elderly care. If its hands are not sanitized, it could spread bacteria or viruses. Tesla could integrate UVC emitters into Optimus's palms, or fingertips, allowing the robot to self-sterilize after handling objects. Studies show UVC can eliminate 99.9% .9 of bacteria in under 30 seconds. This aligns with Tesla's broader vision of creating robots that are not only efficient, but also safe and hygienic when interacting with humans. The ability to make cleaning decisions based on AI adds another layer of sophistication. Optimus could learn over time which environments are more prone to dirt exposure, predict when maintenance is needed, and adjust its self-cleaning cycles accordingly. For example, a robot working in a dusty warehouse might activate cleaning multiple times a day, while a household robot in a clean apartment might only do so weekly. This adaptive intelligence minimizes unnecessary energy use while maintaining optimal cleanliness. Considering Tesla's AI hardware is already capable of processing over 1 trillion operations per second, integrating real-time self-cleaning logic would not pose a significant challenge. Once again, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. How can Optimus V3 detect and correct mistakes when working with humans? One of the biggest challenges for humanoid robots like Tesla Optimus V3 lies not only in maintaining stable internal operation, but also in handling mistakes in environments with humans. This is what sets V3 apart from traditional industrial machines, which typically operate in closed spaces with little interaction. Once placed in factories or even home environments, the robot must face countless unexpected scenarios. A worker handing over an item with the wrong weight, a slippery surface altering its balance point, or even an unclear voice command. In such cases, the ability to recognize incorrect actions and adjust its behavior is key to maintaining efficiency. Tesla is training Optimus with an AI system based on data from billions of hours of autonomous driving through Tesla Autopilot enabling the robot not only to understand its environment but also to learn how to apologize or correct actions much like a human learning from mistakes. In complex workplaces like automotive factories, the challenge becomes even greater. In a production shop, metal dust, oil, and noise can interfere with sensors, causing faulty actions. But instead of simply stopping and reporting an error, V3 is designed to recover quickly by analyzing the root cause and adjusting its strategy. For example, if while carrying a 20-kilogram component, the robot detects reduced grip strength due to dust, it can automatically increase gripping force or change its hand angle to ensure safety rather than dropping the part. This not only improves reliability, but also minimizes downtime, a critical factor in assembly lines where even one minute of stoppage can cost tens of thousands of dollars. Another strength of Optimus V3 is its ability to learn from mistakes and avoid repeating them. Unlike rigid industrial robots that follow fixed programming, V3 can adjust its behavior based on real-world data. Suppose during a shift, the robot repeatedly struggles to assemble a component with a tight tolerance. The AI system will record this error pattern and fine-tune its movements for future attempts. This makes V3 a system capable of evolving within its own working environment, a step closer to adaptive human-like intelligence. Alongside its hardware recovery capabilities, V3 is also equipped with continuous software update mechanisms via OTA, over-the-air, similar to Tesla vehicles. This means that when AI detects recurring errors across multiple robots in different factories, Tesla can release a global patch within hours. With this system, the robot not only fixes its own mistakes, but also shares failure experiences with the entire Optimus network worldwide. 
Elon Musk has emphasized, what sets Tesla apart is the speed of software improvement. We can turn today's error into tomorrow's improvement. This philosophy, once applied to electric vehicles, now extends to robots, turning Optimus V3 into a platform that continuously self-improves rather than relying solely on mechanical maintenance. Interestingly, throughout this process, V3 doesn't just correct errors in a technical sense, but also learns how to socially interact with humans. The ability to recognize mistakes and apologize may sound simple, but it's an important step in building trust. A robot that can say, I'm sorry, let me try again, is far more likely to be accepted in home or healthcare environments compared to a silent, unresponsive machine. According to a 2024 MIT study, 68% of users felt more comfortable when robots displayed human-like responses during errors compared to only 31% with robots that showed no reaction. This proves that beyond technical competence, psychological and social factors are also essential in a robot's ability to handle mistakes. It is this combination of three elements, human interaction, recovery in complex environments, and continuous software updates that provides V3 with a solid foundation to become a reliable product. At the industrial level, it could reduce production line disruptions by up to 40% compared to previous robot generations, thanks to its ability to self-adjust when encountering deviations. At the household level, it can become a learning assistant, refining cooking, cleaning, or elderly care based on user feedback. And at the global level, each software update will make the entire robot fleet smarter, creating a collective intelligence that few companies besides Tesla could ever build. Why is hygiene essential for humanoid robots in daily use? When discussing Optimus V3's long-term role in daily human environments, one of the most overlooked yet crucial aspects is hygiene and safety in direct contact. Unlike industrial robots that rarely interact with people, a humanoid robot designed for homes, hospitals, and elderly care must maintain exceptionally high levels of cleanliness. Any lapse in hygiene could lead to health risks, especially in sensitive environments such as healthcare. This is where Tesla's design philosophy could push Optimus beyond being a simple assistant and turn it into a safe, reliable partner. One practical method is the integration of UVC sterilization technology into Optimus's hands and fingertips. UVC light has been proven to neutralize 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses in under 30 seconds, making it a reliable tool for disinfection. Imagine Optimus assisting in a hospital ward. After touching a patient's medical device or supporting an elderly person, it could quickly activate an internal UVC pulse to sterilize its hands before continuing the task. This minimizes contamination risks without requiring human intervention. Similarly, Tesla could embed antimicrobial coatings, such as nanosilver or copper composites, onto high contact areas of the robot. These materials naturally kill microorganisms on contact, offering a passive but continuous layer of protection. Another important feature is environment-aware hygiene adaptation. Optimus V3 should not treat every environment the same way. In a warehouse full of dust, the robot may prioritize keeping sensors clean to maintain operational accuracy, while in a hospital, the priority shifts towards sterilizing its external surfaces after nearly every task. With its AI-driven decision-making, Optimus could adjust its cleaning cycles in real time. For example, if sensors detect high humidity or organic matter on its surface, it might automatically activate sterilization routines or notify operators. This flexibility ensures that the robot is not only efficient, but also safe in drastically different use cases. Internal hygiene monitoring is equally vital. Just as humans practice self-awareness when it comes to cleanliness, Optimus could run diagnostic checks to assess whether its hands, joints, or external shell carry contaminants. It might employ micro-cameras or chemical detection sensors embedded in its body to scan for visible dirt, biological residues, or moisture. Once detected, the robot could either perform a self-cleaning routine or prompt its human operator for maintenance. This proactive reporting system would be invaluable in healthcare, where contamination risks must be minimized. The larger implication of this hygiene-centered design is trust. People are far more likely to welcome Optimus into their homes or hospitals if they are confident that it will not spread germs or carry contaminants between tasks. In elderly care, for example, where immune systems are weaker, even a small lapse could have serious consequences. By equipping Optimus V3 with integrated sterilization, adaptive hygiene intelligence, and active contamination monitoring, Tesla ensures the robot is not just a machine, but a safe companion. This aligns with Elon Musk's broader vision, creating robots that seamlessly integrate into human environments while enhancing both efficiency and safety.
We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.